let's see the chemical properties of alkaline earth metals so when i have to speak what did i say i said alkaline earth metals are divalent alkanes divalent the charge would be divalent cation m plus 2 remember this it's easy now when i when alkaline earth metals react with water so what is this it's going to be just like hoh isn't it yes so your alkaline earth metal let me take this as m right this combines with oh so what will happen m oh the valency of uh, metal is also plus 2 and uh, the, this is OH minus. So, this becomes MOH taken twice. Right. So, right. So, the leftover hydrogen gases have evolved out. Now, when it comes to Cl, metal plus uh, this uh, chlorine this is going to form as MCl2 because metal valency is 2 and hydrogen gas. So, this metal can be the all the alkaline earth metals. When it comes to sodium hydroxide water, you have to be very careful. Only beryllium is a salt which reacts with sodium hydroxide plus water. That is Na2, beryllium, OH taken four times plus hydrogen gas. This is what is going to form. Only beryllium reacts with sodium hydroxide and water. Now, let us come back to oxygen. The valency of the metal is plus 2. Oxygen valency is minus 2. So, the salt formed is MO. Now, again, here in hydrogen case, metal valency is uh, plus 2. It forms MH. The valency of metal is plus 2. Hydrogen is again, uh, this they are going to combine together, isn't it? So, it is going to form MH. That is the product formed. Right, now let's come back after your alkali metals, let us come back and learn alkaline earth metals. So once we are done with alkaline earth metals, then we'll start solving different different multiple choice equations. So under alkaline earth metals, we as we know we have beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, and radium. So flame test colors are given, just um, just go through it once. Right. So when I have to speak about alkaline earth metals, <clears throat> when I have to read the physical properties, first important thing, atomic and ionic radii. So now we very well know when I move from S block, that is alkali metal to alkaline earth metal that is from in a period that is from left to right what will happen always electron adds to the same shell so atomic radii that is compared to alkali metal that means when I have to go okay let me not write like this compared to alkaline metal when it goes in this way atomic or atomic radii or ionic radii decreases but when I go down from top to bottom, the number of shells increases. So what will happen from top to bottom, the atomic radii or ionic radii increases because number of shells are increasing. When I have to speak in terms of electropositivity, right, means ability to donate electrons. Now tell me when the size is smaller enough, it's very small, the electropositivity will be less than alkali metals because the size is compact in nature. So from left to right in a period, this is I'm moving from this left to right. So what will happen? The electropositivity decreases because the size is small, it can't donate electrons. But when I go from top to bottom, electropositive character it increases ep increases why as the size increases it is easy number of shells increases when the number of shells increases ability to donate electrons increases when ability to donate electron increases what property changes that is metallic character increases so metallic character increases that so ionization enthalpy same concept when the size is smaller enough because i need like this by, the electron every time is keeping getting added to the same shell when it's getting added to the same shell what will happen to the amount of energy required the amount of energy required will be more isn't it right so when i see the ionization enthalpy when i have to move from left to right in a period ionization enthalpy value is more because why is this because I, atomic radii will let us write that since atomic radii is less Correct. But when I have to move from top to bottom in a group, same concept, number of shells increasing, size of the atom is increasing. So, I can apply less energy to take out the electron. So, ionization enthalpy value down the group increases. So, so it decreases I should write, well, very less down the group. So, this is in the group, this is in the period. So, let us come back and do the next physical properties of alkaline earth metals. Right. Now let's come back and see the next physical properties, electronegativity. So when the size is smaller enough, what will happen? The ability to drag the electron pair will be more. So higher 
electron activity will be higher in uh, alkali metals that is in a period if I have to speak in this way higher than alkali metals okay let us write that higher than alkali metals because the size is smaller done so when I have to speak about the physical state or all silvery metals right so silvery and next important thing they are you know uh, when I have to speak I can cut with knife so soft metals they are soft but they when I have to speak about in comparison with alkali metals comparison to alkali metals they are hard hard metals in comparison to alkali metals right so when I have to speak about melting and boiling point you now size is smaller the nuclear force of attraction will be more so obviously the melting and boiling points will be higher than alkali metals right when I have to speak about the density what we know density is equal to mass by volume yes so directly related as a mass increases that mean number increases means mass increases that means even the density is higher than alkali metals then alkali metals so let us come back and see some more properties right now let's come back and see the next properties that is conductance so conductance they're good conductors of heat and electricity so let us write this good conductors of heat and electricity right when i have to speak about the oxidation state we very well know plus two oxidation state isn't it so all are going to form divalent ions divalent ions that means how is this divalent they are m plus 2 ions beryllium plus 2 magnesium plus 2 calcium plus 2 in that way right so now what is the valency when i say divalent the valency would be plus 2 simple and when i have to speak about the color property now i said divalent that when it is divalent obviously they are diamagnetic in nature isn't it so they are all form divalent all the diamagnetic in nature and when they are diamagnetic in nature automatically what will happen to the color property they are colorless in nature and when is this condition when the anion present in that should be colorless that is important the anion is colorless then only it will show that particular property so with this note uh, physical properties are done now let's come back and do the chemical properties of alkaline earth metals 